Hey guys, so I'm going to make this a somewhat quick video. I know that I'm posting a few days later than I'm supposed to actually post. Um, kind of broke my phone a few days ago and I just got it fixed today. So that's why I haven't posted this week. But anyways, I did want to show you. So Onyx just came out of shed. You can see his beautiful colors right now. And he is looking incredible. Granola on another note. This girl is actually about to shed her skin within the next possibly two days now. Um, she just lost her blue eyes, so should be within the next maybe two days or so before she comes out of shed completely. Um, and yeah, it's just a quick update on them. Now you can kind of see that Onyx is actually growing a lot since I started posting the videos a while ago. And I know I try to show these guys on each and every single video, so it is a little hard to see. Um, but, I mean, you can still kind of see it, and soon enough, when he's eating his smaller rats, you will be seeing his growth process very quickly. And granola, she should be done growing somewhat soon, so poor girl won't have much more growing to do, but she's about the size that Onyx should stop growing at, and she should get at least one more foot long, so this boy has a bit more growing to do, and I can't wait to see them get a lot bigger than what they are right now anyways um so I did tell you guys before about the snakes that I'm getting um it will still be a little while before they're actually here but I can promise you guys they are going to be fantastic and I can't wait to see them in person I wish that I could show you, but I don't want to spoil the surprise, honestly. They, the one is actually very fantastic, and I cannot wait to breed her with Onyx when she is big enough, and I mean, she's just a few weeks old right now, so it'll be quite some time before there is actually any breeding going on between them two. Onyx is about a year now. I would like to say and he's you know he's still small but he's about breeding ready somewhat soon enough I believe it's like two and a half years for males and females are the absolute three years old um I don't know honestly I just can't wait to see them breeding together um I just love these guys and I have still been kind of researching things on my own as to how many times you can breed your female. Now the males, I'm not sure of, but Granola will have at least three litters of babies before she is done with her breeding. And I will not be getting rid of her because I do love her. And she was my first snake, honestly. That's one of the main reasons that I am going to keep her. And I'll be keeping Onyx as well. Um, these guys are just my favorite pair right here. But if I do get into the things that I want to get into, then you guys will be seeing a lot of projects on way. So... I just have a ball of snake in my hands, snakes in my hand, um, just really nice. And granola is actually getting very ready to shed, and onyx is getting a little bit more jumpy again because I haven't handled him in 
a few, like, maybe two weeks now. My own fault, actually. Um, so the other day, Onyx actually bit me accidentally, which I probably said that in the video for that week. Um, and last week as well, when I was feeding granola, she actually grabbed me very tight and it was quite a shock. I didn't expect it. She actually drew quite a bit of blood and it did kind of scare me more like more like she grabbed me and I didn't see it coming but not like she was doing it intentionally um currently granola and onyx are sharing an enclosure which is not advised but honestly I feel like if your enclosure is big enough and you know what you're doing with your snakes and your snakes are comfortable around one another which they both have their own areas in the tank they know to stay away from one another and honestly they don't really oh they don't really go into one another's territory so onyx stays underneath the hut and granola prefers the branches and it's just really nice to see how these guys are every single day um now i have noticed granola kind of wanting to go in there but i figure she sees onyx in there so it's less of her wanting to go in there and more of her curious as to why he's in there but either way they are 100% fine with one another. I do feed them often enough that I don't have to really worry about uh, what if I come home and one of my snakes are missing because Onyx is not going to disappear in the enclosure um, unless I accidentally leave it open again in that fault. Um, in that case, that would be my fault 100% um, because I did leave the enclosure open for Onyx the one day accidentally and luckily he was on my TV and found while I was at work and returned to his enclosure so yeah that could have been a really bad situation which was my fault which is kind of why I did end up moving him to granola's enclosure as well because he can't reach out of it and the enclosure that he's been in for the past few weeks is a little bit inaccessible inaccessible from where I had to currently move it to for now so it's a temporary thing that he is in there um probably a temporary thing anyways um now, mind you, I do want to get probably a 120 reptile enclosure to be able to keep my guys in, which I would definitely love to be able to keep them in, and I think that I can do something very nice with them, and to have, I don't know if four snakes would overdo that tank with all the space that I'd be giving them, branches, uh, hiding, basically you name it, I figure that they would actually be okay. It would be a breeding colony. And yes, I did buy Onyx to breed for Granola, but he's not going to be the only partner, mind you guys. And she should be ready in about another year now, so can't wait to see what her babies are gonna look like and honestly it's so exciting to just you know let the weeks pass by and I know that soon enough she is gonna have babies and I don't quite know how many babies she's gonna have obviously their size batch ranges she can have anywhere from 
maybe like six, eight babies, if anything, to probably 30 on a good batch, but I don't expect to have at least 30. I honestly expect a very small batch for the first time, which I cannot wait to see what happens, honestly, because Granola was my very first snake, and depending on how many babies she has, I am actually going to keep some. Maybe, uh, maybe two or three of them. And I can't wait to see what I get from that bundle of babies, but I'm probably keeping all females, and Onyx will be my only male. Just temporarily, um, until I find another male that I think is incredible that I want to breed. In that case, Onyx will still be my main male, but he will also be a retired breeder eventually. Um, I'll probably give him two years of breeding and Granola two years of breeding and stop after that. Reason being because I do want to find something very special to breed Granola to. So she'll have about three different males in her life and Onyx will have a ton of females in his life honestly. Um, but I will keep you guys updated and the next video is probably going to come up Tuesday since this one came up a little bit later on in the week and I think that I may move my videos to Tuesdays instead of Mondays just because it is a lot easier to see them after they're done eating instead of right before they eat when they seem a lot happier. Um. But yeah, these guys are just the perfect pair, and I do love them, and I can't wait to see what happens in the near future, and really quick, I do want to see if I can show you before I do end the video, um, that's Onyx, um, okay, so, it's a little hard to see from these angles, but... Granola is lighting up a lot, and that's not the end that I'm trying to pull out. She is actually quite knotted on me. Um, but this whole belly right here is getting very light, so this is a good indication that she's getting ready to shed very soon. And it's not easy to show this to you on camera especially, but maybe eventually when I get a better camera, I can show it to you guys a lot better. So, sorry that I can't really show you how her, her entire body is looking because she is quite pale right now. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And like I said, I will try to post again on Tuesday, probably before I feed these guys, just because, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep playing with my snakes for a little while, so hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye!